It's Friday, March 5th, and time for an end of week book haul update video. What did I get this week? First, this is something I ordered on Amazon. Captain Charles Ron and the Frontier Infantry in Montana by Robert M. Brown, Ph.D. And a forward by Gary Glynn. Charles Ron served in Montana in the 1870s. Probably had uh, some doings with the Sioux and most definitely with the Nez Perce Indians in 1877. Looks like a good book, it's a skinny book, but looks very interesting. Now today at Strand, I managed to get four books. Yesterday when I was there, uh, none, of the re none of the professional book resellers were there, which is like the first time I've ever seen anything like that, not one of the three that usually show up. But they didn't, there was nothing outside I wanted. Uh, today, just one guy was there, and I was lucky to get four books. So let's see what I got. Uh, in Sunlight or in Shadow, Stories Inspired by the Paintings of Edward Hopper. It's like in brand new condition, edited by Lawrence Block. It was $2. This is a brand new book, The Storm on Our Shores, by Mark Obmasek. One Island, Two Soldiers, and the Forgotten Battle of World War II. And it has another brand new book. I don't know how it got outside, but Our Universe, An Astronomer's Guide by Joe Dunkley. She's a woman. I think her name is Joanne, perhaps. Um... Looks very interesting, dust jacket. And this is a book I have, but it was $2, and I'm just a sucker for this type of thing. Uh, I just couldn't let it sit. Uh, Lewis and Clark, Across the Divide. It's like brand new, hardcover, dust jacket. And even though I have it, I just didn't want it to sit there. I wanted to get it. Um, and I do not have room for storage. Maybe, maybe one day I'll open up a little bookstore with all my doubles, or triples. I don't know if I'll ever do that, but, you know, maybe I, maybe someday. Or maybe I'll have a coffee table, bigger place to live in a coffee table. I'll put books out. Um, I don't know, but I just couldn't let it sit. I just felt terrible. If I, I knew if I left it, I was going to feel bad in such nice shape for $2. So that's it for this week. Uh, tomorrow we're going to a few bookstores in New Jersey go out to eat, go bowling. Um, I don't plan to buy a lot. In, just, uh, just enjoy looking through the books. If I find something nice, great, but I'm not looking to spend a lot of money. Um, I'll come home with like a lot of books. So, till next time, maybe, maybe uh, tomorrow I'll be doing an update. Take care. Bye. It is Saturday night, April 6th, and I had a pretty good book haul today. We were supposed to go to three used bookstores, but after the first two, I did so well. I, I purchased 20 books in total. I just skipped the third store, and we'll head back there next month because we have to he head that way anyway one day for some uh, family get-together. So what did I get today? Letters to Star Trek, collected by Susan Sackett. It's kind of a cool cover. 50 cents. The World of Star Trek. I have this with a different cover, but I wanted to get it. Star Trek The New Voyages. These were all 50 cents. This was a dollar fifty. Uh, Raymond Chandler Killa in the Rain. This is a Tom Adams illustrated cover. Dollar fifty is a pretty good price for this, I think. And uh, great shape. And The Long Goodbye, also by Raymond Chandler. And this has Elliot Gould on the cover. Because he played Philip Marlowe in one of, the, uh, one of the movies, The Long Goodbye. This was like brand new. Uh, it was a dollar. John Keegan, The Face of Battle. Again, it's like brand new. Looks interesting. I've seen that book around, like usually... A bigger version of it. It's never in great condition, but that one I finally was able to purchase for a good price. Uh, the Gentle Infantryman by William Y. Boyd. It's a World War II novel. It has some good reviews online, so I thought I'd give it a chance. It was only a dollar. 
The Civil War, uh, Strange and Fascinating Facts by Burke Davis. This was $2, it's like brand new. And this book I have in hardcover, but when I saw it for seven fifty, I thought that was a pretty good price. Uh, the Sioux of the Rosebud, A History and Pictures, Photographs by John A. Anderson. And text by Henry W. Hamilton and Jean Tyree Hamilton. Again, it's The Sioux of the Rosebud. I have it in hardcover. And this is like a mint, almost mint condition copy in soft cover. This was a great, I thought it a great find. It was $2. Just about brand new. Audrey Hepburn, International Cover Girl. It's a very nice book, hard cover. I put the clear broad art sleeve on it. Now this last set of books I'm going to show you. It's, I call it a set because it is. It's, it's a 10 books from an 18 book series. They were all together in, in a box and they were $2 each. I didn't see the other 8 to the series but th these 10 I did get. The books were all in great shape. This is a, The series is Voices of the Civil War. Um, it's a Time Life book series. This one is Chancellorsville. Shenandoah, 1862. Chattanooga, or Chattanooga. Maybe that sounded the same, but I think I said it different both times. Vicksburg. The Peninsula, Shiloh, Second Manassas. One of the books they didn't have was First Manassas. They also didn't have the Gettysburg volume. But I think 10 out of 18 is pretty good for $2 each. Uh, Chickamauga. Freder Fredericksburg. And last, The Seven Days. So it's 20 books, pretty good prices. Nice condition for everything. And I don't really have any other planned book trips until May. Uh, at least two trips planned in May. But I go to Strand all the time for my lunch break, so I'll see what I find. And uh, had a great time today. Went bowling, went out to eat, bought some books. Now I have to find where to put them all. Uh, big job. <laughs> what am I going to do? It's fun. I love it. Take care. Bye. It's Friday, April 12th. Hello out there in YouTube land. So let's go over my book haul for this week. I did get two books on the internet. Bold Over. A Roll Down Memory Lane by Gideon Bosker and Bianca Bosker. Bold Over, a little hardcover book. And I ordered Walter Matthau, A Life by Rob Edelman and Audrey Kupferberg. Matt, that was a great act. That book has been on my list for a while. I never see it anywhere, so I just broke down and bought it regular, you know, a little discounted Amazon price. Okay, what did I get this week at Strand? The Indians of the Southwest, a century of Development Under the United States by Edward Everett Dale. This I found today. It was a dollar. It's in excellent shape. Let Me Be Free, A Nez Perce Tragedy by David Lavender. One dollar. Great shape. Jane Austen by Carol Shields. Hardcover, dust jacket. Two dollars. This was a very nice find. It was... Brand new in the shrink wrap. 
the memoirs, journals, and Civil War letters of Orlando B. Wilcox, which is, I guess, the subtitle. The title is Forgotten Valor, and it is edited by Robert Garth Scott. Again, $2 in the shrink wrap. None of the professional book buyers wanted it. I guess it wasn't enough of a profit for them. I don't know, but I was happy to buy it. Uh, Phantoms of a Bloodstained Period, The Complete Civil War Writings of Ambrose Bierce. This is edited by Russell Duncan and David J. Kluster. This was $1 outside Strand. Also outside Strand for a dollar, Dividing the Reservation, Alice C. Fletcher's Nez Perce Allotment Diaries and Letters, 1889-1892. And it's uh, collected by Nicole Tonkovich. In the last book that I found at Strand this week, but not the last book that I purchased outside. I'll get to that other one in a moment. Um, Casablanca, As Time Goes By, 50th Anniversary Commemorative by Frank Miller. I have this, but it was only a dollar, and I wasn't sure which one was in better shape. They're about the same, but for a dollar, it seemed like a, a good thing to have another copy of it. And on the way back to work one day after stopping by at Strand, there's a, a new book stand out in the street, um, like about two blocks away from Strand. They just like set up a table on a street corner in New York City, and they've got books out. Everything is a dollar only. So there's a, there's a World War II trilogy. Um... The name of the trilogy is the Liberation Trilogy, and it's written by Rick Atkinson. I have books one and three. What I was missing was book two, and out there on the uh, table that they had set up was the Day of Battle, book two, by Rick Atkinson, of the Liberation Trilogy, volume two. So now I have the complete set. The other two are hard covers. This one is soft cover, but it was only a dollar, no tax. Now I stop by there every day after Strand just for like two, three minutes and just look real quick at what's out on the table. I'm sure I'll find another book or two in the coming you know, two and a half months or so. Counting down to June 25th in retirement, I now have as of Monday, this coming Monday, uh, 48 work days to go. For anybody who might be watching this, uh, I've been doing this for quite a while, counting down and... Uh, can't believe I'm almost near the end. That's it for this week. Bye. Hola. It is Friday night, April 19th, and time for another end of, another end of week countdown to retirement book haul update video. So what did I get this week? I did pretty good. Uh, today especially, I did really good. I, I picked up uh, 26, 20, I think 28 books today at Strand which I'm going to get to in a second. Uh, I started watching, re-watching the original Star Trek series a few weeks ago. I have, I'd have i seen them so many times as a kid that I just stopped watching. And then a few months ago, I bought the DVD uh, complete series and started watching one a week. And I really like it. I haven't seen them in like 30 years or more. Um, like I said, I just overdosed on them when I was younger. And so now it's nice to get back to it and watch it again. And so I kind of got into into it a little bit um, and today they had a whole bunch of Star Trek books outside Strand uh, paperbacks which I'm going to get to now I didn't buy all of them I did buy a lot of them some of them just weren't in good shape or I just felt like I was overdoing it I didn't need some of the, the novels but I did buy a few okay so what did I get the best of Trek uh, from the magazine for Star Trek fans I think this is the first one doesn't have a number on it, so it might be the first edition. Then they had number two, uh, the best of Trek number two. The best of Trek number three. The best of Trek number five. These are all... Uh, 48 cents plus 4 cents tax, so I just rounded off to 50 cents in my head. Uh, the best of Trek number 6. The best of Trek number 7. The best of Trek number 8. 
Now I'm going to have to hunt down that number four that I'm missing. Uh, the best of Trek number nine. I have to look up how many best of Treks they made. I don't know. Uh, here's number 10. 11. This one is missing a little piece down here, but I put some nice uh, professional tape on it. It's not supposed to yellow with age. So that was number 11. Uh, number 12. Best of Trek. And book 13. Did I say 11, 12, 13? Yes, I did. So I don't know how many they made, but I just got a whole bunch of them anyway. So now number four is on my hot list there. I got to find that one. Okay, then I picked up some novels. Uh, Trek to Mad World. The Galactic Whirlpool. Oh, this one is by uh, Stephen Golden. G-O-L-D-I-N. And this is by David Gerald. The Galactic Whirlpool. I don't know where I'm going to put all of these. Uh, the Price of the Phoenix by Sandra Marshak and Myrna Culbreth. Vulcan. By, uh, Vulcan, uh, yeah, just Vulcan by Kathleen Skye. Nice cover. The Starless, Starless World by Gordon Eklund. The Fate of the Phoenix by Sandra Marshak and Myrna Culbreth. World Without End by Joe Haldeman. That name I know. I think he's a famous sci-fi writer, probably. Uh, and there's another Joe... Ha uh, this is Jack Haldeman. I wonder if they're related. Uh, Perry's Planet. I'm guessing they're related. I don't, I don't know. I have to look that up. Then there's some more Star Trek. I just purchased this one recently, but the cover's so cool. I got it again. Uh, Letters to Star Trek by Susan Sackett. The Trouble with Tribbles by David Gerald. Star Trek The New Voyages. And this is from the animated series uh, Star Trek Log, Log 2, Alan Dean Foster. Uh, Log 6, also Alan Dean Foster. And Log 8. Alan Dean Foster. Then, last on the Star Trek list, I had this, but it was only a dollar in really nice shape. The Star Trek Interview Book by Alan Asherman. It's in nice shape, so I wanted to get that. Okay, what else did I... Oh, and then also today, this looked interesting. It's called John Wayne's America by Gary Wills. And uh, The Politics of Celebrity. Looked interesting. Two dollars, like brand new. Earlier in the week, I picked up the Court Martial of George Armstrong Custer. This is a paperback edition. Um, a novel by Douglas C. Jones. This is kind of like alternative history. What if Custer had survived the Battle of the Little Bighorn and, and was court martialed, uh, had a court trial for it, for disobedience, I guess. Um... This looked interesting. It's kind of maybe for young adults, although it, an adult could read it too. Uh, Freelon Starbird by Richard E. Snow, illustrated by Ben F. Stahl, S-T-A-H-L. And this is a Revolutionary War novel. And I think it was published in 1976. It was. So the 200-year... 100 year anniversary of the Revolutionary War. Dust jacket intact, nice condition, $2 outside strand. I'm a Lebowski, you're a Lebowski. Life, the Big Lebowski, and what have you. By Bill Green, Ben Pesco, Will Russell, and Scott Shuffett. Forward by Jeff Bridges. And there's like brand new condition. 
I was bowling tonight with my son. We went. Um, went last night, too. This I picked up for a dollar. It's called, and it's like an excellent condition, it's called American Stories, Paintings of Everyday Life, 1765 to 1915. And there's, let me see if I could just find it. One painting in here kind of caught my eye. I should have uh, put a little bookmark there so I could find it real quick. Give me a second. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> On the right side, kind of it's hard to see, but there's this guy talking to a woman in a in like an alleyway. I think this is in uh, what's it? An interior in Venice, which which is not a oh, street in Venice. I'm sorry, a street in Venice, which is clearly not the United States. Although it says every American stories, uh, paintings of everyday life. But it was a cool painting. There's a lot of nice paintings in here and some nice uh, essays to go with it. So for a dollar, I couldn't believe it. That was pretty good. Um, Soldier Life. This I bought on the internet uh, because I recently picked up a bunch of these for $2 each and I wanted this one. Uh, fancy the comforts of such a life as this. Uh, so this is a Time Life book. Soldier Life, Dust Jacket. Got it on... on uh, I put it on Amazon or eBay. It was like six dollars with shipping, and it's like in excellent condition. And last, this was also a dollar. How or who cola? Which I guess it means kind of like hello friend maybe, in Lakota, and it's by Barbara A. Hale, the Plains Indian Collection of the Happen Refer Museum of Anthropology. And there's lots of pictures in here. It's not much in color. Um, at the beginning, there's some color, but mostly it's like pictures of material culture with descriptions. And uh, yeah. And then at the beginning, there's a few. color images for a dollar it was an excellent shape good purchase luckily also that the that the book buyers the book resellers that come there uh, haven't really been there this week except for one guy that I've seen uh, the other two guys have not come which has made it easier to shop and find stuff um, maybe one day there were two of them and then the other days it was just one guy only so I had a pretty good week and those Star Trek books today really uh, was like, you know, hitting the jackpot. Um, depending on how you want to look at it. Now I've got to find places for all of these books and I'm never going to get to read everything. I know that. But I enjoy it. That's it for this week. Uh, by the end of next week, the month is just about over. And then it's May and June and retirement. It's hard to believe it's coming uh, about nine more weeks, nine and a half weeks about. That's about it. Take care. Bye. It's Wednesday night, April 24th, and time for a book haul update video. Usually I wait until Friday, but I won't be at work the next two days, so I won't be going the Strand. And I do have a bunch of books here, so I might as well make my video tonight. So what did I get in the last few days? Well, on Saturday, we didn't go to any bookstores, but at my sister-in-law's house, she gave me three books that she had. Um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. These are with pictures from the uh, somewhat recent movies that were made. Somewhat recent. They're probably like 10 years old already. I lost track. So what did I get at Strand this week? Artists and Illustrators of the Old West by Robert Taft. Victory in Europe, uh, D-Day to V-E Day in full color, text by Max Hastings, and photographs by George Stevens, and these pictures are colorized. Kind of a cool book. Uh, 
Spark Notes, kind of like Cliff Notes, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I had this, but didn't remember that I had it, so now I have two of them. Um, this book I have, but it's kind of in, not in the best of shape. This was in, in nicer shape. Uh, Jane Austen, A Life by Clara Tomalin. And this was a, a rare find. Uh, Jane Austen and the Body by John Wiltshire. You can look it up on internet if you want to know what it's about. But it was only a dollar. It's like an excellent condition. Yeah, it seemed like a, a rare book to find. Rebel Rivers, a guide to Civil War sites on the Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James Rivers by Mark Nesbitt. And this is a cool little book. A dollar. Over the Earth I Come, The Great Sioux Uprising of 1862 by Dwayne Schultz. I do have this, but it was a dollar in nice shape, and I bought it. Soiled Doves, Prostitution in the Early West by Anne Seagraves. The reviews of this book online say it's not that well written, but there's a lot of, and some, some people like it anyway. Um, but it's not a, like a professionally published book, so it wasn't like it went through an, you know, an editor and anybody helping her with the text. But there's a lot of cool pictures in here, and it does look interesting. And it was only a dollar, and so like in almost brand new shape. Being Comanche, A Social History of an American Indian Community by Morris W. Foster. One dollar. I do have it, but it was in great shape, and it was just, like I said, a dollar, and I couldn't help myself. That's the kind of book you never really see outside at Strand. So I, I was just shocked. I had a book about Comanches outside. I had to get it. Um... Good reading copy. Lincoln in the World. I got, got this today. Uh, the Making of a Statesman and the Dawn of American Power by Kevin Perino. Two dollars. It's like brand new. Looks interesting. This I also picked up today. Jefferson's West. Uh, as in Thomas Jefferson. A Journey with Lewis and Clark. It's by James P. Rhonda And... Fo Prefaced by Robert M. Mutley, both famous historians of the American West. Cool little booklet. And last, Religion and the Founding of the American Republic by James H. Hudson, H-U-T-S-O-N. This was a dollar. Um, nice shape. It's, it's interesting. I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in any gods or re religions. Um... I, I'm getting a book that's coming out next month that I pre-ordered on Amazon by, uh, oh, the name is, is escaping me. The author's name, last name is Seidel. And it's a book about that America is not founded on you know cr uh, Christian principles or is not a Christian country, something like that. And this book would be an interesting, interesting accompaniment to that book as I think this book tries to make a different point. Um, so it was kind of cool to have the two and, you know, hopefully I get to read both of them and make up my own mind. Whether or not, you know, the, any of the founding fathers were religious, and certainly many of them were, I do not believe from what I know that they tried to incorporate that as a part of uh, what the United States is supposed to be. You can have your religion, but it shouldn't be a part of government. Um, and but you know you give people an inch they want a mile and religious people have just been pushing and pushing and pushing and they get a lot and then when they lose something or they are kind of put in their place to you know that, that they had something they shouldn't have had then they claim it's persecution uh it's just crazy what's going on but uh, anyway that's not really what these videos are about um you could believe whatever you want i mean what are we going to do if you want to believe that the earth is five days old? I mean, no one could stop you. It's crazy, but you can believe it. I don't know what it gets you. Um, but anyway, you shouldn't teach it to your kids. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I got to go. It's Tuesday night, April 30th, and hard for me to believe, but this will be the last installment for my 
April 2019 countdown to retirement video. Two more months to go. 38 workdays if you're counting. Okay, so what did I read this month? Eye of the Storm by uh, it's a Civil War book written, written and illustrated by Private Robert Knox Sneden. S-N-E-D-E-N. It's pretty good. It's definitely worth reading. The Star Trek interview book. Uh, this is by Alan Asherman. This book I rate, I would rate about three out of five stars using the Amazon system. The Eye of the Storm book, uh, I think probably I rated that around a four or four and a half star book. I also read, a, besides these two books, uh, a bunch of articles this month. So what did I buy this last week since my last video update? This I bought on eBay, um, Mavericks by Jack Schaefer. I wanted wanted the book because of this cover. I like it. I do have the book in a different version, but I, like I said, I wanted this kind of like nice vintage copy. Today, it's, oh, well, before I get to that, um, I belong to the uh, little uh, Custer Battlefield and Historical Museum Association. And every year you get this magazine, Greasy Grass, and you get a newsletter. So this came. Some good articles. So what did I get this week at Strand? Actually, only uh, two, since it's Tuesday, I've only purchased one book so far this week there. Uh, the Poach's Daughter. I got this today by Michael Zimmer. It's a Western story. And it's got a weird name, The Poach's Daughter, but it looks pretty good. It's a thick book. It's got good reviews. It's only a dollar. It's like brand new. So that was a good deal. And on Saturday, we had gone to Long Island, the book review, R-E-V-U-E. -E, and I picked up four books there. Exodus from the Alamo, The Anatomy of the Last Stand Myth by Philip Thomas Tucker. has mixed reviews online, but... Um, some of the reviews that were negative, I didn't really care for what they said. Um, like it did, didn't really affect me, what they were saying, and a lot of the positive reviews I thought, you know, made it that interesting. It was cheap, it was like four or five dollars. And this, I got three books from a, a series, uh, Voices of the Civil War. If you may recall from a past video, I purchased ten or eleven books in in one store. Um, very cheap. They were two dollars each. These were four dollars each. Uh, First Manassas. Gettysburg. And Atlanta. I think I have now maybe three or four more to get to the series. They'll probably be a little bit hard to find. No, no big rush. But uh, you know, something to look for when I go out. So that's it for the end of April. Again, tomorrow is May 1st, as you know. And uh, we'll see what happens in May. I know at the end of May, we're going to a book sale out in New Jersey where they, in past years, they've had like eight, fill up a box for $8 of, you know, a lot of nice books. So we'll see what happens. And I'm sure I'll find some books at Strand, maybe take a bookstore trip somewhere else in the meantime. So uh, till next time, take care.